Here is your latest African news. Africa Wide, AFCON Highlights. Egypt yesterday qualified to the quarterfinals following a 5-4 penalty shootout victory over Cote d'Ivoire. Equatorial Guinea continued their giant killing run with a 6-5 penalty shootout victory over Mali after a goalless draw. Equatorial Guinea are the final side to advance to the last eight where they will meet Senegal on Sunday. The next game will be held Saturday, January 29th. The teams playing will be quarterfinals 1, Gambia vs Cameroon at 11 a.m. Quarterfinals 2, Burkina Faso vs Tunisia at 2 p.m. Burkina Faso Russia offer aid to Burkina Bay coup leaders A group of Russian military contractors have written to the coup leaders in Burkina Faso offering to train the West African country's army in their fight against jihadists. The group calling itself Community of Officers for International Security, which is based in the Central African Republic, published its offer in a letter. It is not clear if it has been or will be accepted. Burkina Faso is now led by a military government that overthrew the government of President Rok Kabore earlier this week. The verified letter by a Russian security advisor to the Central African Republic presidency also takes a swipe at the French-led offensive against extremists in the Sahel. Despite leading the operation for over a decade, it alleges they have had no success and adds that the Russian group can help the Burkina Bay soldiers to master the security situation in very little time. Sudan, Egypt and Ethiopia Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has called Sudan and Egypt towards peace over dam. Ethiopia's Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has called on Sudan and Egypt, and I quote, to nurture the narrative towards building peace, cooperation, mutual coexistence, and development of all its people without harming one another, end quote. In a letter, Prime Minister Abiy has said Ethiopia has an ambition to build a modern economy based on agriculture, manufacturing, and industry. Abiy reaffirmed, and I quote, Ethiopia's intention to construct the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is to enable regulation functions so that electricity generation from the infrastructure is uniform throughout the year. This means as a hydropower dam, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam does not consume water, rather the water continues to flow downstream uninterrupted. The three countries have been at loggerheads for a while, beginning with how Ethiopia's Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam on the Blue Nile was to be filled. West Africa West African leaders to hold summit after latest coups Leaders of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, will hold an extraordinary summit on Burkina Faso and Mali this week. The regional bloc strongly condemned Kabore's ousters, saying he was forced to resign under threat and intimidation. Burkina Faso's new military government, led by Lieutenant Colonel Paul Henry Sadaogo Damiba, said it will propose a return to constitutional order within a reasonable time frame. Malians have also come out in huge numbers to protest the ECOWAS sanctions. A crowd also gathered in Burkina Faso's capital Ogadougou to celebrate the coup, with some saying Echoes was just a puppet of France. Ethiopia Ethiopia's cabinet approves lifting of the state of emergency. Ethiopia's cabinet has approved the lifting of a six-month state of emergency ahead of its expiration in light of changing security conditions in the country, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's office said in a statement. Ethiopia declared the state of emergency in November after TPLF terrorists had gained territory. The government said last month the army was clearing the TPLF militants from the North Amhara and Afar regions, dismissing TPLF statements that their forces were retreating. Over the weekend, the military said it was planning to enter the Tigray regional capital of Mekele and eliminate the terrorist forces. East Africa The East Africa Council pushes for seamless trade. The East Africa Business Council is pushing for the revival of business committees to facilitate the seamless flow of goods and services at border points. The regional apex body of the private sector association and corporate has embarked on an ambitious plan to revamp joint border committees in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, South Sudan and Burundi under the East Africa Trade Protocol. Speaking during a multi-agency forum that brought together different actors from both Kenya and Uganda at the Malaba border, the council chief executive officers said they are focused on formulating robust systems that will guarantee fast clearance of trucks along the border towns of Kenya and Uganda. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share and like this video. It's the best way of supporting us. Also, don't forget to catch season 2 of Startup Africa every Thursday with Pamelanga on our channel. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube member or becoming a patron and donating. And remember, Africa is watching.